Today we count down the 10 worst Formula 1 crashes of all time. If you are a Formula 1 fan or like crazy crashes, you will love this video. Let's start! Number 10. 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix Romain Grosjean The 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix witnessed one of the most harrowing incidents in recent Formula 1 history involving French driver Romain Grosjean. Shortly after the start of the race, Grosjean's Haas car collided with another competitor, causing it to veer off at high speed and smash into a metal barrier. The impact, recorded at over 50 G, split his car in two, and immediately, a massive fireball engulfed the wreckage. Remarkably, Grosjean emerged from the flames after being trapped for approximately 28 seconds, sustaining only minor burns to his hands and ankles. This incident spotlighted the advances in motorsport safety, highlighting the crucial role of the Halo cockpit protection device, which was instrumental in saving Grosjean's life by withstanding the impact and preventing the barrier from intruding into the cockpit area. Number 9. 1970 Italian Grand Prix Johan Rindt. The 1970 Italian Grand Prix marked a tragic turn in Formula One history with the untimely death of Johan Rindt. During the race at Monza, Rindt, driving for Lotus, suffered a fatal accident. His car veered off the track and crashed, resulting in fatal injuries. Despite his demise, Rindt's exceptional performance throughout the season led to him being posthumously awarded the World Championship title, making him the only driver to achieve this honor after his death. Rint's aggressive yet skillful driving style had already positioned him as a strong contender for the championship prior to the accident. His dominance on the track, including five race wins, had established him as a formidable force in Formula One. Number 8. 1961 Italian Grand Prix Wolfgang von Trips, the 1961 Italian Grand Prix, held at the Monza circuit, is remembered as one of the darkest days in Formula One history, primarily due to the tragic accident involving Wolfgang von Trips. On September 10th, during the race, von Trips' Ferrari collided with Jim Clark's Lotus. This collision caused Von Tripp's car to veer off the track and crash into a side barrier, subsequently launching into the air and landing amidst a dense crowd of spectators. The catastrophic event led to the death of Wolfgang Von Tripp's and 15 spectators, with many others injured. Von Tripp's was competing for the World Championship and was a favorite to win, making the incident not only tragic but also pivotal in the season's outcome. Number 7. 2014 Japanese Grand Prix Jules Bianchi. The 2014 Japanese Grand Prix is remembered for a tragic accident that significantly impacted Formula One and its safety protocols. During the race, held under challenging weather conditions due to the approaching typhoon Fanfone, French driver Jules Bianchi lost control of his Marussia car, crashing into a recovery vehicle that was deployed to remove Adrian Soudel's car, which had crashed in the same area a lap earlier. The collision was severe, and Bianchi suffered critical head injuries as a result. Despite immediate medical attention and transport to a nearby hospital, Bianchi remained in a coma, showcasing the sport's inherent risks and leading to widespread calls for increased safety measures. Sadly, after a nine-month battle, Bianchi succumbed to his injuries, marking him as the first Formula One driver to die from racing-related injuries since Ayrton Senna in 1994. Number 6. 2009 Hungarian Grand Prix Felipe Massa The 2009 Hungarian Grand Prix is remembered for a harrowing incident involving Brazilian Formula One driver Felipe Massa. During the qualifying rounds, a suspension spring detached from Rubens Barrichello's Braun GP car, bouncing unpredictably on the track. Tragically, Massa, driving at high speeds, was hit in the helmet by this debris. The impact occurred at a critical moment when Massa was preparing for a corner, and the force of the spring striking his helmet rendered him unconscious. His Ferrari uncontrollably veered off the track, crashing into the barriers. Emergency crews quickly responded, and Massa was airlifted to a hospital for urgent care. The diagnosis was severe, a skull fracture and a concussion, necessitating immediate surgery. Remarkably, Massa made a full recovery, returning to Formula One racing the following year. Number 5. 1982 Belgian Grand Prix Gilles Villeneuve The 1982 Belgian Grand Prix marked a somber chapter in Formula One history with the tragic death of Gilles Villeneuve. Known for his charismatic personality and exceptional driving skills, Villeneuve was a beloved figure in the racing world. 
However, during the qualifying session at Zolder, he encountered a fatal accident that ended his life. The incident occurred when Villeneuve attempted to pass Johan Mass's slower moving car. In a heartbreaking turn of events, his Ferrari collided with Mass' vehicle, sending Villeneuve's car airborne and crashing into the catch fencing. Despite immediate medical attention, Villeneuve succumbed to his injuries later that day. His death deeply saddened the racing community, as he was not only admired for his talent behind the wheel but also cherished for his passion and sportsmanship. Number 4. 1976 German Grand Prix Niki Lauda The 1976 German Grand Prix marked a pivotal moment in Formula One history with Niki Lauda's harrowing crash at the Nürburgring circuit. Lauda's car veered off track, collided with an embankment, and burst into flames, trapping him inside. The Austrian driver suffered severe burns and lung damage, teetering on the brink of death. His remarkable survival and subsequent recovery were nothing short of miraculous. Despite enduring extensive medical treatment and missing most of the season, Loda displayed extraordinary resilience and determination, returning to racing just six weeks later. His courageous comeback epitomized the indomitable spirit of a true champion, earning him admiration and respect throughout the motorsport world. Luda's accident prompted significant safety improvements in Formula One, emphasizing the importance of protective measures for drivers. Number 3. 1955 Monaco Grand Prix Alberto Ascari The 1955 Monaco Grand Prix remains etched in the annals of Formula One history, not just for its competitive racing but for a heart-stopping incident involving Italian driver Alberto Ascari. In a dramatic turn of events that underscored the perilous nature of early Formula One racing, Ascari's launch at D50 veered off the track on the 81st lap, crashing through barriers and plunging into the Mediterranean Sea. The spectacle of a racing car disappearing into the harbor was both shocking and a stark reminder of the era's scant regard for safety. Miraculously, Ascari survived. He managed to free himself from the submerged wreckage and was later rescued by a nearby boat, suffering only a broken nose. Unfortunately, Ascari's brush with death was a forewarning he could not escape. He tragically died just four days later in a testing accident at Monza, adding a poignant note to his miraculous escape at Monaco. Number 2. 1994 San Marino Grand Prix Roland Ratzenberger and Ayrton Senna The 1994 San Marino Grand Prix at Imola stands as one of the darkest weekends in Formula One history, marked by the tragic deaths of two drivers, Roland Ratzenberger and Ayrton Senna. The first blow came on Friday during qualifying when Ratzenberger, an Austrian driver, succumbed to injuries sustained in a high-speed crash. Then, the world was shaken again on Sunday as Senna, the legendary Brazilian racer, suffered a fatal accident while leading the race. These devastating events sparked widespread grief and prompted an urgent reassessment of safety measures in Formula One. In response, significant changes were implemented, including stricter regulations regarding car design, enhanced safety protocols for circuits, and improvements in medical facilities and procedures. Number 1. 1978 Italian Grand Prix Roddy Peterson The 1978 Italian Grand Prix at Monza remains one of the darkest moments in Formula One history, primarily due to the tragic accident that led to the death of Swedish driver Roddy Peterson. The race began with a multi-car pileup triggered by a chain reaction as the tightly packed grid surged towards the first corner. Amidst the chaos, Peterson's Lotus was hit side-on by another car, leading to a catastrophic impact that inflicted severe injuries upon him. The Swedish driver was extracted from the wreckage and rushed to hospital with grave leg injuries. Initial optimism about his recovery was shattered when complications arose, leading to Peterson's untimely death the following day. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.